Okay, so what we have here is the driver's side seatbelt reel out of my truck. Um, I went ahead and replaced this because uh, it uh, was um, just not retracting properly. It's really annoying. Um, now, it, I tried to order one online because it was like 40 bucks online. But when I ordered it uh, from a dealer uh, that wholesales and stuff, I guess, I don't know. Uh, they said it was going to be 50 bucks to ship it because it was hazmat. And I did not think that there was anything to these things except it being an inertial reel. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to disassemble. Now it says danger on the bottom. Do not impact or disassemble. Uh, maybe there's like a little gas charge or something in here. I'm not really sure. Um, so we're going to take it apart at just a little bit at a time as far as we dare and see what's, uh, what the deal is with it. Um, I always thought that these were just inertial reels that when they reached a certain point of, uh, of, uh, you know, rate of being pulled out, you know, the, the reel spinning would cause pins to flop out or whatever and uh, cause the thing to lock up. But maybe there's more to it than that. I don't really know. So, like I said, we'll uh, put on some safety glasses probably first, and we'll take this thing apart as far as we dare and see. Okay, so looking at it initially here, it does kind of look like there's some sort of gas charge that goes around here. Uh, I'm not really sure. Like I said, I'm just not really sure why. Oh, I bet I know. I bet you if you get in an accident and this thing triggers it winds itself up. This might be a relatively short, uh, a pretty short teardown because uh, all we're probably gonna be able to do is take a peek in here and see what's going on. I don't know if uh, it's worth the risk of going too much further than that. So we'll take off these screws here and see what's going on anyway. All right, so there is a coil spring in here, which we don't really care about, or a clock spring, anyway. Okay, so that's all that's in there. Um, yeah, you can see it wound up in there. I suppose I could pop it apart. I don't think this is the part that is uh, terribly dangerous. Although this does answer one question that I had which was, could you just preload, you know, if you had one of these that wasn't retracting quite right, could you just preload the spring a little bit extra? Which I don't see why you couldn't. There's that one. Okay, simple enough device there. It's a clock spring. Now the question is, dare I take this apart any further do not impact or disassemble danger danger will robinson well this side i'm a little afraid to screw with this side i'm not that afraid it says caution do not remove but i don't really see it's not hooked up to this module so I wonder if I can just pop it off. Oop, spring. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is the inertial reel I was talking about, which is I what I thought uh, I thought that, that that's all there was to these things, but apparently there's some sort of uh, device. Let's see why they tell you not to take this apart. You're never going to get it back together. Okay, now normally, all right, all right, okay. So normally this would twist in, and I can feel here that this little paw is being in when it's coming inbound. Normally, remember the uh, the coil spring on the opposite side 
would be twisting this seatbelt in. So the little paw is locked away from the lock position. All right. So now when we start extending, if we go, if we exceed, if we exceed the load on this little spring back here, uh, the spring which is underneath this thing. So uh, that spring is what's basically keeping this paw from kicking out, right? So if we exceed the pretension on that spring, then this little paw kicks out and locks the seatbelt. All right, that makes sense. That's kind of clever. Kind of surprised it's plastic being a safety device. Now, the last part of this that I don't quite get, this must be the tilt uh, control, this little ball here. Now it's spring loaded. Oh, okay. Well, that's simple enough. And then if it tilts any direction, it catches. Oh, so you'd be trying to pull here. Okay. So basically it acts as almost a hard stop, right? All right, so I'm just going to hold that like that. So normally, this guy, I took out the spring. So <clears throat> that's the little tilt switch there, that little ball. And you see if it tilts to the side or something, that little piece of plastic can catch and cause this paw to kick out. Well, I'm sorry, I keep on forgetting. You'd be pulling on the seatbelt, right? So it causes that little paw to kick out and latch. So that's the tilt ball. I'm guessing that this little uh, indicator here is to show you whether or not the seatbelt has uh, blown. So my guess <clears throat> is that inside here is some sort of gas mechanism that's going to uh, going to retract the seatbelt. Um, Kind of afraid to take it apart, to be honest. Because I don't know if it's going to explode in my face. So if I do take it apart, it'll be a later video. Uh, I'm going to have to do some more research on how dangerous these things are. But uh, anyway, that's uh, how the little tilt switch and the, uh, the uh, inertial reel works. That's kind of... Interesting and clever. Well, thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.